Hey folks, this is Arthur for the Tezos Dev Update. Uh, I'm not with Erwin this week. Erwin will be back next week. He's working on a series of posts on proof of stake in Tezos. So I'm in New York. I just uh, flew in from Money20 in Las Vegas. So it was a red eye. I don't have a lot of sleep. Uh, and I just came back from the Tezos meetup, which was really cool. Lots of great projects. Uh, we had a few presentations, one from uh, Cryptonomic, which is building Conseil. Uh, a RESTful API on top of um, a Tezos node, which is richer, because you know a Tezos node only tries to have the minimum API it needs for the services uh, such as baking or uh, the client uh, to query, but you can build richer APIs on top of this, and this is what I can say is doing. Uh, we also had a presentation from Stephen Andrews, uh, video conferencing from New Zealand, who presented three projects which are tied together, one being uh, EasyTZ, which is also a API wrapper around the Tezos API, um, Tezbox, which is the equivalent in the Tezos world of MetaMask. It's a, MetaMask is a really cool plugin for Ethereum, which lets you transform your Chrome browser into a uh, into a browser that can connect to the blockchain. So this is what Tezbox does. You can build GUIs inside your browsers that can uh, connect to the chain and uh, connect to smart contracts, make transactions, which I think is a really cool uh, model. And the third thing being Phi, a programming language for uh, that compiles down to uh, to Mikkelsen. We also had uh, Christopher Goes uh, present Juvix, a optimizing compiler from Haskell to Mikkelsen, so you can write your uh, smart contracts directly in Haskell. Uh, which is pretty cool, um, which uh, reminds me there's also a project by Fabrice Le Faisant called uh, Liquidity, which compiles a OCaml-like language down to Mikkelsen and vice versa. Um, we also had a presentation from Bo, uh, aka Tezigator, uh, presenting his delegation system uh, for Tezos. And you know, quite a few interesting folks, uh, good talk, uh, we're very happy to be here. Uh, in terms of the uh, update from uh, the core team, I haven't had a chance to circle with them in person uh, before doing this update. We spoke briefly uh, over the phone. Uh, so mostly background work continuing. We're not quite done with uh, with JBuilder. And so all of these different uh, projects that are going on uh, that I mentioned uh, last week are still going on. Uh, a few things that were committed are some changes to Mikkelsen. We have a size operator for lists. And also, arithmetic difference between timestamp, which is something that um, a lot of folks have been asking for a while. Uh, also, last week, the team was pretty busy uh, bringing in uh, new team members. So we have new two new team members uh, that we're super excited are uh, joining the team. Uh, we'll hear a little more uh, probably from them in the future. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I think what it means is there's going to be a lot of uh, efforts which is going to be directed towards building more documentation. Right now, the code has comments, but it doesn't have documentation. It's hard when you just look at the core uh, protocol of Tezos or, or the different parts of the system to really understand exactly what they're doing, where they're here. And so the documentation efforts uh, is going to be pretty valuable because, A, it helps on board new team members, but also it helps onboard anyone. You know, anyone who wants to contribute to the core protocol is going to have these resources to be able to do so. And so these are going to be part of the uh, of the Git repo and we'll commit that documentation as well. So this is all for now. Um, tune in for the next uh, dev update next week and uh, we'll have more information because uh, I'll be uh, live from Paris. Thank you.